Hey guys, what is up? So today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a little bit of gameplay for A Rose in the Twilight, the limited edition for the PlayStation Vita. Let's check it out. All right, so first of all, this limited edition included the stone giant from the game as like a little foam stress ball type of a thing. So I suppose since this is a horror puzzle platformer, if you got stuck or frustrated, you could just give this thing a nice squeeze. So yeah, this is the bag it came in. It's got a little label on it. All right, so let's rip this plastic off. All right, so here's the limited edition box. On the back, you can see the stone giant. On top, we have sort of a Rose R logo. And here we have the contents. All right, so here is the visual art book. We have art gallery. Characters, of course, Rose, the main character, and the giant. Stages and gimmicks. Demo storyboards. Other sketches. All right, so we have 36 pages in the art book. Next we have the soundtrack. Front and the back. There are 15 tracks. We just have a single page insert, so it's not a fold out. And then this CD and a little bit of art behind the CD. And finally, we have the game. And right on the front, it says it's PlayStation TV compatible. There is the game case. Yeah, that's always nice to see. There's no reversible art. And we just have the game card. All right, guys, let's check this out. A Rose in the Twilight is a dark platformer. You begin your journey controlling a young girl named Rose. You awaken in a faded castle, on your back a curse of thorns. This curse allows you to absorb and apply color when used with certain objects. Objects with color are affected by physics and can be moved. Colorless objects, on the other hand, are completely still, frozen in time. Very early on, you encounter a rather rotund statue. After applying color with the Curse of Thorns, the statue springs to life. And from here, you begin to work together to unravel the mysteries of the castle. 
Each chamber of the castle is a puzzle waiting to be pieced together. As you uncover secret or hard to reach areas, you suddenly realize these gloomy stone walls are full of demise lifeless bodies doomed to be forgotten. You must absorb the crimson that has spilled out to catch a glimpse of the memories that are trapped within. Working closely with your giant stone protector, your rock, your shield, a bond is formed. but you're quickly reminded that this is a place of darkness, death, and sacrifice. While you are immortal, your body must still endure every form of fear, pain, and torment. From your map, you can fast travel back and forward to any area you've visited. This is great for finding any of those secret areas you may have missed. Fortunately, checkpoints are abundant, so you don't need to go too far back when you respawn. A Rose in the Twilight is available on PlayStation Vita and Steam. There are also some free themes and avatars on the PlayStation Store for Vita and PlayStation 4. If you're interested, check them out. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.